Hi, I'm Dr. Ellis Orozco, and thanks for listening to this video podcast. I hope you have a great weekend. Hi, and thanks for listening in. I wanted to talk to you this weekend about uh, the idea of abiding in Jesus and drawing strength from your being with him. And I just get a lot of people who who come to me and, and say, I just don't really get that. They, they don't understand perhaps how, how does that work? Or, or some who come to me and say, really, the whole prayer thing, the meditation thing, this idea of connecting to Jesus just isn't working for me. And so kind of explain that. So I want to talk a little bit about that because I think this idea of abiding with Jesus and being connected to him is not just one part of the Christian life or the Christian walk. It is everything that everything you do as a Christian, everything you say, every, every action you take, uh, every act of service uh, that you do for the cause of Christ is supposed to come out of this relationship with Jesus, that it all starts with this idea of abiding with Jesus, of spending time with him, of being connected to him. Jesus said, I am the vine, you're the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And so, that is central and core to what it means to be a Christian, is to be connected to Jesus, to be spending time with him, to be listening for him, for his voice in your life. So I think it's really super important. And this was really important for the ancient Hebrew culture as well, the culture out of which Christianity grew. Uh, in the Old Testament, in the book of Psalms, and these were the songs of the Hebrew people, Psalm chapter 91 says, starts out this way. It says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So right out of the ancient Hebrew scriptures, there is this idea of resting in God's presence, of finding strength and peace for your life's journey by resting in the shadow of His wings, uh, under his care, under his protection. And so this is an idea that goes way back, even before Jesus, and something that Jesus built on. So how do you do it? Well, in this really brief kind of devotional, I want to just point to two things. The first is that you have to practice it. You, you just have to practice it, even when you don't feel like it. And you might say, you might wake up one Sunday and go, well, I just don't feel like going to church today, or I don't feel like listening to a sermon, or I don't feel like uh, like going to a, a Bible study or what have you. And uh, in, in the Christian life, we call all these things, Bible study, prayer, worship, uh, meditation, we call these spiritual disciplines or spiritual exercises because they're just like exercising. Uh, you may not feel like going to the gym. You may not feel like running a mile. You may not feel like getting on your exercise bicycle but you just have to do it even when you don't feel like it. And sometimes even when you feel like it's not helping you, you feel like, like it, maybe you're even going backwards because it, the, the, the pain is greater this time than it was last time, or you're just not quite getting it. Just like in physical exercise, in spiritual exercise, you just have to keep doing it. You have to do it even when you feel like it's not working for you. You just have to keep praying and keep worshiping and keep asking God because it's in the process of doing that over and over and over again that suddenly you begin to feel his spirit speaking to you. The second thing I would say is that you don't do it alone, um, that you, you want to get other people involved in your spiritual walk. Because you see, I can write instructions for you on how to swim, okay? If you don't know how to swim, I can write those instructions. But it's a lot more effective if I get into the swimming pool with you and I show you how to swim. That's the way you learn to swim, by getting into the water with someone else who knows how to do it, and they teach you. This is the way it is with the Christian life. So it's vitally important for you to get into a community of other Christians who will help you along the way, encourage you, support you, affirm you, hold you accountable, uh, model it for you. This is this is what it looks like to really connect to God. I hope that you'll reflect on that. I hope that it's been some help to you, and I hope that you have a great weekend. God bless you.